I'm Maria Flecheyu. I'm a professor of medicine, endocrinology, and neurological surgery at Oregon Health Science University in Portland, Oregon, and I'm also the director of the Pituitary Center there. It's my pleasure to be here in Chicago at Endo 2018 and to talk about updates in Cushing's disease. Cushing's disease is a fascinating disease. We are talking about uh, something that was found more than a hundred years ago in patients by Harvey Cushing's and we're still talking almost every year about what's the right treatment for these patients. We're still struggling that a lot of patients are not cured by surgery and then even the ones that are cured by surgery, how we're going to treat them. We had a fantastic symposium on Cushing's and we have this almost every year and we're still struggling to, to know what to do next. Uh, the genetics though, I think we have hope. We found more and more genes that were uh, presented in an excellent review here. We also have new medical treatments and several drugs are in phase three trials and they have been presented overall. Uh, including the Pesirotai de Lear that was published since last year that Dr. Lacroix presented in his uh, talk on medical treatment of Cushing's disease. We also have uh, studies that are ongoing that hopefully we'll hear about the phase 3 trials presented soon, both about levocitoconazole, a new drug for Cushing's that acts on blocking the adrenal steroidogenesis, and Ocilodrostat that we had a, a phase 2 published uh, few years ago but now uh, one of the phase 3 trial is uh, finishing soon that will, is also an adrenal steroidogenesis uh, inhibitor so we're moving along with treatments and several of these uh, long-term treatments for previous uh, uh, studies are presented in poster form uh, here at the uh, endo the most interesting discussion was on quality of life and cognitive changes in patients with Cushing's disease because for us we're looking initially, we're all endocrinologists, we're looking initially at numbers. So the drugs are uh, controlling the biochemical response but in these patients despite controlling the biochemical response the more we look into that and it was uh, beautifully presented by Alberto Pereira with MRIs including, there are still changes in their brain even after remission. So it would be very important to look more into that, which would be the right treatment for each patient and individualized medicine is the key for everything. So I'm very optimistic that in another, hopefully we don't have to wait another hundred years to actually have the right treatment for, for each patient.